the Yangtze River Flood Management Strategies. This is a case study on the flood protection methods of the Yangtze River which is located in China. The Yangtze River flows through China and runs through the city of Wuhan and has a mouth at East China Sea. At 6,380 kilometres long, it's the third largest river in the world. Seasonal flooding is common around the Yangtze. China has rainy seasons that last from about June until August, which means a huge increase in river discharge. Five major floods have happened in the last century. These occur in 1931, 1935, 1949, 1954 and 1998. However, the flood of 1954 covered 193,000 kilometres squared of land and killed 33,169 people. Over 18 million people had to move. It also covered the city of Wuhan for over three months. China is obviously a very large country and with floods occurring very often, we need to find flood protection strategies that will protect people and the environment from being damaged over and over again. We need to ask ourselves how China has protected themselves from future floods. Have they used soft engineering or hard engineering? Which one is most efficient and which one is most beneficial to the environment? There are many dams on the Yangtze River that reduce flooding and there's 46 that are planned or even finished. The biggest of these dams is the Three Gorges Dam, which is shown on the images on the screen now. The one on the screen shows how the dam has changed between 1987 and 2007. So if we have a look, we can see that there's a reservoir that's been built up behind it. This consumes a lot of land and takes up any villages or, well, basically anything that's behind the dam. So even some villages had to be moved away as the reservoir would consume any land that is behind the dam. The reservoir is actually taking a long time to build up because it takes over years, but the reservoir catches any flood water which then can be slowly released over time. The reservoir can store about 22 kilometers of flood water. On the dam there is actually a hydroelectric power station. This is the largest hydroelectric power station in the world. The flow of water turns 26 turbines built into the dam and can power a large, well, a moderate percentage of China's energy supplies. So, not only is the dam stopping flooding, it is also providing sustainable energy resources for China to power on. This map of China shows how long the river Yangtze actually is. And as you can see, the three gorgeous dam construction site. The actual area of the reservoir is huge and runs miles and miles behind the actual river itself. Locks have been built alongside the dam so ships can get past the dam, which makes it much easier for transport and whatnot. So was the dam building a success? Let's consider the positive and negative effects. It's thought that the dam has reduced major flooding from once every 10 years to once every 100 years. The turbines in the air dam um, from the hydroelectricity power generator actually produce electricity and can produce up to 22.5 gigawatts which is enough to supply about 3% of China's total energy demand which is lots in relativity to the amount of fossil fuels that they use at the moment. The reduction in flooding has made it much safer to navigate up the Yangtze. River shipping has also increased as the bigger ships can now travel up the Yangtze because the river is so much more deeper than the reservoir as well. As well as this, um, people around China who are unemployed or even employed have been able to gain jobs from just building it because it took so long to build and it's provided jobs for many of people making the economy in China grow even further. However, there are negative impacts of this as well. People have had to relocate as the water level in the reservoir has risen. It's thought that between 1 to 2 million people in the, vis in the China area around the Yangtze will have to relocate, which is about 13 cities and uh, 1,352 villages, as these will be submerged.
Alongside this, the reservoir will also consume arable farmland, 657 factories and 1,300 sites of cultural and historical interest. The dam could also destroy habitats, which we have seen as well, um, affecting pond life or any life that's in the river, especially the fish as they can't transport through the dam. In addition, the dam doesn't actually protect everyone. Rising water levels in the reservoir will increase flooding along the tributaries that lead to it. For example, the, the Danning River. The increased water levels in the tributaries will also increase erosion of the riverbanks, causing collapses and landslides. So to conclude, it's obviously just an opinion whether it is a success to some people or not. Some few people find that it's just caused worse problems, it's caused farmland to disappear, it's caused historical sites of interest, you know, generated from over millions of years, you know, just gone through this reservoir. Some of the people find it's just so successful and it was one of the most successful things to ever to happen to China. It's, you know, it's created jobs, it's created hydroelectric power which can power 3% of China's total energy uh, demands. However, in my belief, I do believe it is a success. It's, you know, it's it's prevented flooding from happening, re reducing all land, stopping all that. It's created hydroelectric power, you know, it's prevented um, more people from dying, people from suffering, from damage, economic impacts. It has prevented all this and it's actually created more as um, it provides energy for the economy so they don't have to buy as much or import as much from other countries. Coming back to what we said earlier, this is actually a hard management strategy and for most rivers we always use hard management strategy as the most the more effective, you know, you know, natural um, or soft engineering strategies are such as straightening the river uh, banks and deepening them. But uh, hard engineering is most often used because it's you know it's more effective than normal, and as we can see from the Three Gorges Dam, it's had a huge impact and has actually prevented lots of floods, lots of damage, lots of lives um, from being lost, and injuries, homes, everything.